Bonjour tout le monde. Little update on the center console. I will add two charging points here because this car is not so well done regarding the charging, the cell phone charging. As you can see, the cell phone holder is here and the only charging point in front of the car is here. It's a cigarette lighter. So you have to run a cable all along the center console and then to connect to your phone. For me, it's not possible because uh, <laughs> it's not comfortable. It's ugly. We cannot close the center console, the sliding door of the center console. And it's not safe because uh, imagine if you have two cell phones connected to one charging point, you have two cables running all around the center console, the gear shift. So to keep this area a bit aesthetic as it is now, I will install two USB charging points at the back of the center console. So this work will be a bit long, so I guess many of you will run away because they are not patient to, to watch until the end. For those who will who want to follow, here is the process. My goal is to have a minimum of length of ch charging cable and the less visible possible. I will connect the cable from the back here, running all along the dashboard. I will buy some clips that I found on, on AliExpress or Amazon. You can see the picture. And we will connect on the cell phone. Like that, all this space will be will be free and uh, and nice like it must be. Usually, I use on every car this kind of uh, cell phone holder. It's magnetic that you can glue anywhere on the, on the dashboard of your car, if you can, of course. So I will glue here. Like that, I can put my cell phone without bothering the buttons so much. And I will be able to connect my cell phone with the short USB cable until the rear of the center console. So I will have a 20 or 30 centimeter long USB cable. That's perfect for me. It's aesthetic and it's not bothering anything. I hate this kind of cell phone holder because it's ugly, <laughs> first of all. And it's in the middle of the windscreen. Here in our place, south of France, it's uh, fucking hot. We have to use a, a shade. And so you have to remove this cell phone holder every time you move the car. So first step, I will show you how to remove the center console on the Volvo V70. I guess it's not the same um, center console in all the Volvo V70, but at least it will give you a clue. And I think also it's available for some others, like the V50. Uh, it's a bit the same concept, so it could be useful for you. Allez, on y va. Well, first step, we have to remove this decorative plate by pushing two pins who are located in each side of this plate. You have to push left and right with a small screwdriver. So I never did that before. So let's see. And in the same time, you have to pull up the decorative plate. Voila. Sorry if my hand bother you. the back of this plate there is two screws it's a T25 screw now behind these two plastic cover you have also two screws of course I spent the night to find out <laughs> Well, same T25 torque screw, screws, sorry. Now we have screws under this decorative plate also. So you have to remove just by pulling it up. I don't know how you can do that with the automatic gearbox, but I guess it's the same concept. I will let you a link about the video um, that I found really interesting and he removed this also for an automatic gearbox. I must to thank him because it's a, 
it's from the, his video that I learned how to do that. Voila. So there is also two screws here and two screws in front. Same T25 Torx screws. And it's the same size then at the back. And finally, you have two screws also at the back of the center console. If you use a screwdriver like me, it will not fit here. So you will need a key. And it's same 25 Torx. It's the different size again. And same the opposite side. Move the center console. You have to pull up this uh, clip to hold the wiring, or you cannot do anything. Now, center console must be free. Must be free. Scary. I struggled a little to remove the center console. I guess it's because of these two clips. There is one here and the other one I don't hear. I will show you later. Who are clipped and this plastic and clip tightly. So um, when you remove the center console, First of all, you remove this one with the screwdriver because it's really tight. And the second one, you cannot access or, or you can make it difficult. And there to pull up gently, of course, the center console to release the clip who is um, hidden under. And then after that, you can slide the center console going in front to release the back. Baby. To remove the center console fascia when all the screws are out, you have to pull up from each side, a bit firmly but gently of course, to unlock the top of the um, center console and then after you slide from the rear to the up to unlock the clips that you can see here. And then after you have a similar clip than this one here and it's locked along the plastic here. So you have to remove it first if you want to to get access to the plugs, to the connectors, sorry. So now we can remove all the connectors. For this black connector, you have a pin on the side that you have to press to unlock the connector. To remove this last clip, you have to put this uh, side away. It's easier to tell than to do. Voilà. Aye, 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 aye. Well, it's not dramatic. So to remove this connector, you have to open this, uh, this uh, I don't know what, and push this tongue to unlock the clip. So strange. Anyway, now the front of the center console is removed. You have to remove these two screws that I did already, and it's still the T25 Torx screw. Then after, we have to move backward this rear section of the center console to be able to unlock this middle section. To do that, there is a plastic cover here to hide six screws, two in front, two here, and two at the back. Remove it, and then after, we can move backward the rear of the center console and it's again a t25 screw same size than the other one in each sides of the rear center console you have two sort of notches who are locked into the middle of the center console one hand will hold the middle center console The other one at the back and you slide backward until it's unlocked. I'm talking about these two notches. Finally, 
we have to unlock this middle section from the front and it's attached by the by by, by this clip that you can see here so or you pull up gently and it's coming alone or you have to spread the two pins you see these two pins I talk about now I have access to the cigarette lighter wiring and I can connect the new wire which is going to feed the, um, the new USB port Now I will install my USB port I did the connection uh, at home because it's easier I reversed the two bolts and nuts because uh, when I put back try when I tried to put back the center console it's touching the climate unit at the back so I finished to put tape all around the wire I would advise you to run the wire under the gear knob to join after the wiring where you, you have to connect it because if you um, follow this line as you can see here when you will put back there is some pins who could pinch the wire so to avoid that kind of uh, injury and then after when we put back everything together I will attach with the, um, the lace the plastic lace I don't know how you said in English to really lock now we can connect to the cigarette lighter Allez, let's see if it works. Alors. Et ben voilà. It's working. I will secure everything. Alors, it's time to put back everything. We have to start by the central go glove box, then the climate control unit and everything, because it's fit under this, and then only after this back part. You remember the clip here that you have to put inside there. There it is. You remember this plastic clip? Do not forget to put back, or it could be a problem with the gear shift. I will put over there. There is scratch already, so it means it was here. And this one here, you can see there is a scratch, so it means it was here already. Now, this rear part, you remember when you, you want to put back this the rear of this center console, you have to slide these four clips to here and to here into the middle of the center console to be sure to lock everything. Voila. So now I can put back all the, the screws to here with the plastic cover. Since six inside, the screws here.
there is two more here and these two fits here Then the cover and the gear shift cover also. I'm done. I will make a, a last try to see if it's charging well. It's working well. So here is my final setting as you can see the cable is running at the back of the center console it's not bothering anywhere in the middle of that I added another cell phone holder that I bought on Temu <laughs> the one I talked about before it's my favorite one sometimes the car is rented as a camper so that's why we provide different um, um, cell phone holders to satisfy the, all the customers. I wanted to add a cable holder, a bit funny, but after it's too much gadget here and there, and it's not anymore a Volvo. It's a Temu car. <laughs> Another small Volvo monkey business. Hope you enjoyed the work. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next time. A bientôt. Bye bye.